All right, new Vertex lights. Quick look, they work pretty much the same as the old ones, where you have a group that you put all your lights into, and then you have a modifier on the, um, on the geometry you want to be lit up. New thing, it's just one kind of light. There's now menus for shadow type and light type, and then you just fill out, fill out uh, the form for what you want. You still drag in um, right now. Right now, it, I need to clean up all of the extra files in the asset browser. But you just drag in the lights from the asset browser. There is flat shading, smooth shading, and then for development, uh, just full bright. If you make a level or something that is extremely big and you don't want the lights to actually be calculating to be able to modify stuff and not have the computer lag then you can set it to full bright. There's also a reflection model this time so normal diffuse which is basically no reflections just flat shading it's being lit up and then oh that is way too powerful right now this is an approximation of garage shading. There might be, it might not be entirely accurate, but garage shading, which is like the shininess that something has. It is also, oh yeah, notice how, now this is only for artists who are making animations this does not really bake uh, for people who are making levels. You have lights showing up on the correct side of the geometry. And as I said, there's only one kind of light. Let's make it a spotlight. They all have gizmos, and as an example, the spotlight is actually accurate. Each light has a shadow type, and one of the big features, even though this is not retro accurate at all, ray traced shadows. You can also just turn it back to dot shadows and all of the faces that are that are facing towards will work but um the two-sided only really works well with uh with the ray traced shadows then you can also just do fulbright and then if you don't want the garage shading you just change it back to diffuse you still got your fill lights Fill lights can be scaled. Well, I guess these are the retro shaped lights, and then there's also just fill. All of this is still just vertex colors. You can have a base layer for, uh, for your environment light. You can hand paint that. There's a uh, base layer for, uh, for lightning. So you can go in after the fact and you can hand correct, make something brighter. Same with darkening to make it uh, darker. There's UV baking options, which uh, that can be helpful for Unreal, which is what I use it for. And then regular, um, regular vertex color attributes. So far, So far I'm just making a master shader where you just plug in your texture color and the alpha. Uh, you can use uh, reflections and cycles. Uh, this is cycles, by the way. This is not um, this is not EV. You can use EV, but um, if you want really accurate reflections, then you have to use cycles. If you do use cycles, go to your light paths and turn your bounces to one 
your glossy to one if you want reflections, and your transparent to one if you want uh, uh, transparent materials. But if you do this, uh, depending on your GPU, you might actually get better performance using cycles than using EV, even though EV is supposed to be the faster one. None of these are real lights. All of these are unlit materials. If there's no lights in your scene, you'd be surprised how fast how fast cycles can be. Let's see. On the master shader, two siding shading is a uh, is a flag along with backface culling. You can still use the normal backface culling, but sometimes I find it I, I just find it simpler when I'm using it to have backface culling and stuff on this. Uh, let's turn back two-sided on, backface culling off. And then something else. So garage shading is just an approximation. I I'm still learning. There might be some clamps for math that are not correct. Uh, right now it's set up so that you can have colors greater than one because that's what's useful now. Uh, instead of it just being uh, 0 to 255 uh, per channel of the color. Uh, if something's not looking right for the garage shading, here's a factor that you can manually correct. Um, if you want to have an object that has uh, more than one uh, more than one kind of shininess, you have to break the object up right now. There, there isn't a real easy way of making it so that um, so that the pixel shader takes care of it, uh, especially with the shininess factor being like at the beginning of the vertex shader. So I, I can't really move that very easily. Maybe someday I'll try, but right now it just is the way it is. Work in progress.